Hey guys, Mr. Zern here. Welcome back with another video. Uh, I want to show you my beast mode version of my one and two player guessing game. All right. So again, worked really hard here to make this thing as simple and as easy to use for the, the, uh, the user as possible. So one, play against a friend, play against the computer. Let's start with that quick. We'll say play against a friend. So player one goes in here, and I guess I should make that text box just a little smaller than a hint. And let's say, I'm going to say 98 is my uh, secret number. So enter. All right. Notice all that stuff disappeared. So the only option I have now is to enter uh, my two, my guess, and then click the guess button. Now I've added some pieces that tell me, Hey, enter a two digit number. So it kind of gives you a, a hint uh, just in case the, the person who entered the secret number didn't do a two digit number or whatever. We'll, we'll see that in a minute. So uh, let me just guess low. Oops, I clicked something there and reset. Let's try that again. All right, play against a friend. Uh, this time we do a three-digit number just to show you and say 100. And notice it says uh, enter a three-digit number. So I'll say one, guess higher, let's say 300. Guess lower, let's say 100. Hey, there was a little wind sound there. But I don't know if you caught that. Uh, it also, I have in there a spot where it looks at how many guesses you have left. So I have a little conditional statement, a chain conditional. And depending on how many guesses you have left, it, it writes that. So, hey, whoa, you got that in under three guesses. Uh, so there we go. So let's um, play against the computer. So number of digits. So we'll pick a one, two, three, or four digits. So I'm going to say, let's say two digits. So I'll click play. And it says enter a two digit number and I have 10 guesses left. So let's start with 50. All right. Guess higher, 75. Guess lower, 65. Guess higher. Notice the background's changing. Uh, how about 70? Guess lower, 67. I lost because I ran out of time. All right. So let's, uh, let's see. The number was 67. Oh, I was so close. All right. So let's play against the computer again. Let's say one, do a little better this time. And oh, I should set that up to delete that. So guess a one digit number five. Guess higher, seven. Guess higher, nine. Oh, I get it. So I, I, uh, I won there. Let's play against a friend this time. Let's say the secret number is five. And let's just like almost lose. Notice the background's changing. All right, I got one guess left. Let's get it right. Woo, that was close. You almost ran out of guesses. So um, notice doing a lot of things there. Uh, background changing color, depending on how many guesses you have left. You get uh, specialized messages, depending on how many guesses you have left at the end of the game. Uh, when the Let me just kind of refresh the screen here. But when the piece, when it comes up, let me refresh the screen. There we go. Should kick it, but yeah. So, uh, you know, play against a friend, play against a computer. I've tried and made it make it as easy and as simple to use as possible for everyone involved. So, you know, when I click play against a friend, you know, everything disappears but the option enter a number. Uh, so again, if I again I could add there some kind of crazy digit. And it's going to tell me enter a four-digit number. Uh, so that person even knows, and who knows what that is there. Um, yeah, I guess higher, yeah, because it could be like anything out there. Ooh, even higher, eh? Guess lower. I'm going to run out of time before we get there. I ran out of time. Bummer. Uh, but you can see how that all uh, takes effect. Lots of things going on here. Hopefully super easy to use uh, in the in the game there. Uh, and so that's just kind of a beast mode of lots of stuff going on. Just kind of giving you an idea of what you could do. All right, folks. Well, I will talk to you later.